Hi guys. Hello. How are you? I told you we were going to go to Disneyland on a budget. So today we are telling you our five tips and tricks for having a successful and expensive time at Disneyland. So we're going to start with tip number one. Tip number one is your tickets. You can buy two day tickets or you can buy one day tickets and save quite a bit of money. What was it like $10? Uh, yes, $10 per ticket per day. So that was basically our fast pass. So instead of like buying a two day one person, we bought one person twice. So like instead of buying Josh a two day ticket, we bought Josh two one day tickets and he basically got his fast pass for free. We only went for two days. I think if you go for like three days or more, this doesn't make sense. But if you're going for two days, this does make sense. You would think that Disneyland would make it cheaper to go. Wouldn't you think that? You would think if you bought two days instead of one day, it would be less expensive. <coughs> but where we bought them from, it was cheaper to buy one day, one park than to buy two days, one park. And we bought them from an army base. So if you know someone that works at an army base, you do not have to be in the army right now. You don't have to be a current active. You don't have to be active. Active duty gets a whole different discount. This, yeah. is, this is just a discount that you buy them on post. Yes. So that's tip number one. Tip number two. Hotels. What did we do for our hotel? Okay, so I shopped the hotels. I shopped them a few weeks in advance and then I shopped them again about a week or two in advance. And we decided that cost was the best deal. We didn't worry about anything but it being as cheap as possible. We're not gonna be there at all except to sleep and take a shower. So we didn't need anything nice or fancy. If you're going for a big like uh, anniversary or you're going with someone that you've never seen or like to make a good impression, that's different than just doing a family trip as cheaply as you can. Now keep in mind, we hit our hotel room the first night after midnight and we were out of the hotel room by 6.45, 7.30, somewhere the around there, the next day. So all we did was sleep. There's no reason to upgrade our space if all we're doing is sleeping. So it was not the best hotel, obviously. It, it was, was a holiday weekend, so a lot of options were sold out, but it worked for us and it wasn't very close. So what did we have to do? So we ended up paying for parking, but our hotel room offset the expense of paying for parking. Parking wasn't that bad. It was like $20 a day. I think it was 25 25 per day, but our hotel room was 125 less per night. So that, that expense was offset. Tip number three. Food. Oh, we are again, cheapskates is obviously the point of this video. Yes. Um, we packed our ice chest full of snacks and food. Uh, Disneyland does let you bring food and snacks and water bottles. I'm pretty sure you can't bring alcohol into I know, the park. I think so. But you can bring water bottles and you can bring food into the park. Uh, we packed, um, what was it? We had um, strings, Lunchables. Lunchables, cheese strings, uh, chips. <coughs> and Pop-Tarts. And Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts are great for line snacks. So you're in the lines waiting and they're really easy. You just put them in your hand. They don't make a mess. They're really easy, and there's two in a in a pouch, so you can just take one and split it with someone else, and it's really easy, really convenient. We had a free breakfast from our hotel, which we used, and then we used our snacks, and we had you know lunch stuff that we had brought for lunch, and then the only meal that we ate out was dinner because we still wanted to experience like their food. They have really good food, so we went ahead. Oh, and you know, them. Daddy was getting the turkey leg. No, he was. <laughs> That was a meal for the entire family as well. The turkey leg is huge. Yeah, we got it as a snack and we all shared it amongst ourselves. Tip number four. So, we we had restraint when we were shopping at Disneyland. Now when we went, the Mandalorian had just come out and everyone had this amazing green jersey that everyone, well not everyone, but like every fifth person had it on. And so all the kids wanted it. I wanted it, to be honest. It looked pretty cool. It was a nice jersey. We walked into the uh, to the store to buy it, and it was seventy nine dollars for a long sleeve T shirt. Um, so restraint is 
how we save money. We did not buy everything we could buy inside the gift shops. We were, we went in there with the game plan to only buy magnets. Magnets, and that was it. We did end up having to buy a backpack. That was not our choice. Um, long story, but. So we told our kids throughout the whole trip, we're not going to buy anything at Disneyland. Anything that you want at Disneyland, they're going to have it at Target down the street. So if you're good, you can earn money to go shopping at Target. And if you're not good, you can't. So number one, that makes your kids behave because, you know, you didn't just spend $85 on a gift that you can buy at Target and then your kids are brats. So really smart and great. And number two, they have a Target right down the street from Disneyland, like on the same exact street of Disneyland. And you can go ahead and go in there and it says everything, dis like everything they have and a whole section is just Disneyland related. So that is the biggest way to save money. And if you want to go before you go to Disneyland the day before or in the morning before, you can do that. They have plenty of like the... T-shirts. The, like the, it's mostly just Mickey Mouse. There was not really anything but Mickey Mouse, but it's Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse, his and hers and mine and all like the little cool t-shirts you see people wearing in Disneyland for the event. Uh, they had them there and they were like $10. Yes. If you buy them in Disneyland, they're like $30, $40. Yes. So. And we went in January, so it wasn't very hot. But if you go in the summer, they have those spray bottles. And at Disneyland, it's like $25 for a little spray bottle with a fan. But you can get it at that Target that is Disney. It, it has like Mickey Mouse or Goofy or whoever on it. And it was like $6. We did it a few years ago when we went to Disneyland over summer. So it's very, very inexpensive to get any of the items that you want from Target. We went ahead and got our magnets from Disneyland because that's what we do. Every place that we go, we pick up a magnet from, and that's how we like celebrate our vacations or whatever. So we did spend like six or seven dollars on those, but actually I think mine was like twelve dollars. It's pretty expensive. So on our last day of Anaheim, Josh and the kids went into Target and they got some Mandalorian shirts or whatever. All the kids went ahead and got whatever they wanted from Target. It was really, really inexpensive. I think we paid like 25 or $30 for that whole trip. It saved us a ton of money and the kids still got a gift and they were just as happy as if they would have got those $75 shirts. Yeah. And I was real happy to not pay $75 shirts. If they're getting one, I'm getting one. So that's 300 bucks. Yeah. So we did kind of splurge on our clothes. Um, my cousin Jasmine went ahead and made shirts for everyone. They do get kind of pricey when you get like custom design shirts or whatever, but we, we wanted to just have fun and just enjoy it. So we went ahead and done this. If you have a cricket at your house, then it's not going to cost you very much. But if you just want to wear regular clothes too, like that's, that's fine. But that's where we decided to do our splurge. And for tip number five. Last but not least. Very important tip. Very, very highly specialized tip. Uh, you don't want to do this. So this kind of isn't about saving money, but we did have to spend a lot of money because this happened. So I got this backpack at Disneyland like three years ago, and I used to take it to work. It was my work backpack. And so at my job, we have CNC machines and we have robots. So I have this locker that I got from Tesla when I was working at a different building than what I'm working at right now. And it's for robots and it's for like heavy machinery and it's called lockout tagout and you're supposed to put it on your pants every day when you go to work. Well, I got a promotion and I'm no longer working there. Now I'm working with like a bunch of computers. So I just put it on my backpack and I don't have a key for it anymore. So it just stays here and they were checking all of our bags. The first day it was fine. We went and got um, checked in before we went on the tram and then no one cared. They didn't say anything to me. I walked right through. It was no issue. But the second day I got stopped. Yes, apparently there's an issue with people locking things at Disneyland. And so they will confiscate your lock if you bring it. And we got a backpack that's inferior to her current backpack. Yes, it's much nicer. It's an updated version. It has a spot for a laptop. I'm much more happy with it. But this is a perfectly good fine backpack and I would have never had to upgrade it if I just would have not had this lockout tag out. So if you are going to probably any theme park, I would assume, 
please just make sure that your packing is okay to get in. And also, on that note, I will let you know that we put all of our kids in Disneyland with a backpack that had a jacket and their food for the whole day along with an extra water bottle. And that is how we went ahead and had all this food without one person like going crazy with a bunch of stuff in their bag. Make sure you pick the right backpack. Make sure you pick a lightweight backpack for that event. Do not bring okay. your lock and do not bring a heavy duty backpack with a million pockets and so many options because you'll be carrying that thing for 10 hours. And the first day I, had, I brought two backpacks. The first day I brought my uh, heavy OGO backpack that was like a, almost like luggage. And uh, I regretted that about halfway through because it started getting hot. I was wearing a black shirt. I'm a large fellow. Who's and like right. kind of chase on you, even yeah. if you're not a big guy, like just walking, it like rubs yeah. on you. A light, a light backpack probably would be the best choice as opposed to a heavy duty, amazing, too many pockets backpack. Yes. So. So overall, how much do you think we saved? I think our biggest savings was on food because food at Disneyland can get very expensive, especially when you have a big family. So if you're going to Disneyland, please consider these examples. And one thing to add, so Disneyland has changed their pricing. Um, they have peak and they have non-peak days. Every Saturday is a peak day. So the one day, one park ticket price is a lot more expensive after their current pricing. If you can buy your tickets from someone where it's a voucher. From an army base. From an army base. Um, you're saving a lot more than $10 a ticket. You're probably saving $50 a ticket. Yes. If you pay the same price that we did. Yes. And if you're not going on a holiday, then it's really smart while you're driving out there or flying out there to book your hotel the day of. So let's say like right now we decided on Wednesday we want to go to Disneyland. On Wednesday afternoon when we're leaving our house and we're like getting everything ready to go, I would go ahead and get on my phone and I would just book just a few hours before we get there. If it's a holiday, don't do this. You're going to be so screwed. Everything was sold. Everything was booked out of ours because we went around the lunar, lunar New Year. But for all the other times, I say go for it. All right, guys. So we hope that you enjoyed saving all kinds of money with us on your Disneyland vacation. If you're going, please send pictures and video. We want to see it. Go ahead and look at our link for Instagram and tag us. We are so excited to see all you guys saving all kinds of money at Disneyland. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Love you. So if you are keeping up with our channel, you know we just did a trip to Disneyland. Those videos are not posted yet. It's been really hard to edit because we have things on a GoPro, cell phones, like six different cell phones and my camera and like it's really hard for me to get all the footage together so it'll take a while. Sorry that they're late but whatever.